In this video tutorial, we're going to use the Roto brush to eliminate the background of this video clip. I'll start by double clicking on the clip in the timeline. And then up at the top of the user interface where the toolbar resides, the second tool in from the right is a little brush with an icon of a man. I'll click on it. The brush might not appear readily. I'm going to hold the command key and I'll drag up and it'll change the scale of it for me. And if I drag down, it makes it smaller. With the playback head at the beginning of my timeline, I'm going to start to make a very broad selection. The tool works very much like the content aware tools in Photoshop, where as you get closer to the border or edge of the selection, it will try and intuitively select out the rest of the content. You see a red magenta-ish line appear when you edit. If I were to return to the composition itself, I can see how it has edited that for me. To continue the edit, I'll double click to go into the editing window. And that timeline uh, is the giveaway that you're in the proper window. You'll see the red lines as well. And I'll zoom in on it. I'll get my brush. In this instance, I'll make it smaller by holding the command key and dragging down. And then I'll try and do my best to fill the rest of this in. Now the conflict with this clip is that we are going to see that the color of the top of the can that comes up out of the grave momentarily is the same color as the background. When you're doing screen eliminations, it's good to plan ahead and use either green or blue. I'll go around the perimeter now and I'll try and pick up the rest of this edge. And now I'll go back to my composition itself, and I can see I have a little bit more up here that I need to eliminate. In the event you select part of the document that you don't want in the selection, you can hold the Option key down, and you'll see the brush turns red. And that will allow me to go in and eliminate some of the content I didn't want. And I'm starting to move through the timeline frame by frame to see if I lose anything as the video changes. Holding down the Command key, I'll hit the right arrow and it will move frame by frame in my timeline. Now you're going to have to wait for previews to build. You'll see a green bar at the bottom of the comp window in the editing state. And very often you'll have to wait while that updates and gets the cache to run the file. Now this is really intense on a CPU. So I'll continue to hit command on the keyboard and hitting the right arrow to get through my timeline. And as the image starts to change, I'm looking for anomalies that I might have to select in that might get left out. I'm going to zoom in because the can top is the same color as the background. So there's a conflict here. So this is, again, just to reiterate, this would have been better off with a solid blue background. There wouldn't be that conflict. But now I can just go in and I can brush that back in. I'm going to go through the timeline, frame by frame, holding the command, hitting the right arrow. And I'm going to make those changes, whether I add to the selection by brushing or holding down the Option key when it turns red to eliminate. And once I've done that, I'll return to see what we've got. I've gone in and completed editing frame by frame using the Roto brush, and my end result would be something like this.